Um, yeah, so if you're, if the purchase, this is in uh, public service law, if, if the purchase of your streetlights system from the utility costs under $100,000, uh, you know, which can be the case if you don't have very many lights, or um, the uh, the Public Service Commission, um, if it takes no, 90 days have to pass, uh, and the public, so it has to be with a, sit with the Public Service Commission for 90 days. Um, if they take no action on it, it's just automatically approved after 90 days. Um, but if if the sale, uh, if the purchase price is over $100,000, this requires affirmative action by the commission. Uh, they have to, you know, review it and and either say yes, go ahead, or no, which uh, we've never seen happen. We've never seen them say no. But that um, adds time to that process, and that's why it can take up to six months or so. Um, okay, and, and then just a few uh, last um, uh, bits of information about purchasing the streetlight system. Uh, the you know the utilities all use different methods for calculating. Each each utility has its own method for calculating the, the purchase price uh, or providing you with an estimate. Um, NYSEG uses a methodology called present value of return on assets or PVROA, uh, and it takes into account the net book value as well as the utilities expected re future return on the street lights if it continued to own them. So, um, you know, it tries to fa it factors in that cost plus an administrative cost. Um, you have the um, right to request that the utility not only give you an estimate, for, but provide you with the information and data um, that went into making that estimate so that you can make an informed judgment about whether you, that's, um, or as much of an informed judgment as you can about, about whether that price is, is, is acceptable. Um, so, you know, we recommend that when you do request the purchase price, you also ask your utility to at the same time provide you with all of the information, be transparent about it, so that you can so you can really review that that price from a position of knowledge. Um, another, uh, um, just another piece of advice is to just make sure you carefully review the utility's proposed operating agreement. Keep in mind that this so the operating agreement is going to spell out all of the rights and responsibilities of. of you, the municipality, as the owner of the streetlight system, and and the utility, and what the utility continues to be responsible for, and um, and that document is a negotiable document. The provisions are nego negotiable. Uh, you you know it's not it's not a hugely complex thing. It's fairly straightforward. Um, but just keep that in mind. I'll just give you one example. You know the utility may say you know you have to have some provisions where you would have to pay the utility for something in X number of days, five days or 10 days. That's typically like out of alignment with municipal uh, billing cycles. So you'd want to change that to 30 or 60 days, <laughs> things like that, you know, which you will catch. But make sure your utility, I mean, your municipal attorney reads that, uh, you know, reads, gives that agreement a thorough review. Um, the, and this is just, you know, there's been a number of Cities and towns that have purchased their systems, their streetlight systems successfully and happily <laughs> um, in, in our area, um, you know, some of the bigger cities, Poughkeepsie, Kingston, Beacon, uh, and others downstate, and then more upstate, the uh, West Seneca and Horseheads. Um, I, I did at one point when I was doing research for the uh, assessment, had a conversation with um, I was either the mayor, or supervisor, or horseheads, um, but they were very happy with the, the results of, of taking over their system and converting to LEDs. They feel like it was the right thing to do. It saved them a lot of money. Um, and you know, I just I just wanted to um, close with one more kind of with an example, just to 
to just to you know get give you a more concrete idea of costs and savings. Be, um, as I mentioned, uh, I my own town is about is is embarking on this process, and so you know I did a, a cost analysis for 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 our town for our street lighting, and we pay we have 165 street lights. It's not a lot of street lights. Probably not too. It's probably not too different from many small communities. Um, we pay for those 165 lights in 2017 over forty thousand dollars for the year um, to the utility for those lights. Most of that cost is the uh, fixture rental cost. Um, if um, you know, once we purchase. Our street lights and convert to LEDs. Uh, those costs are going to drop to seven thousand. Around we estimate around seven thousand two hundred a year. So it's it's you know it's a big difference. Um, and uh, I'll stop there.